Now uh, to the father who came face to face with two dangerous fugitives. He's speaking out about his encounter with the men who went on the lam and who are now facing charges for killing their prison guards. ABC's Kenneth Moten joins us with all of the details. Kenneth, good morning to you. Good morning, Paula and Dan. The nationwide manhunt for the Georgia prisoners lasted two days. Their armed and dangerous run from the law cut short by a man just trying to protect his family. This morning, that dramatic moment, a Tennessee husband and father single-handedly stopped two Georgia fugitives in their tracks. My family means the world to me. I was ready to do whatever I could. Police say escape prison inmates Donnie Russell and Ricky DeBose led them on a 10-mile high-speed chase. You've got a subject in the back. Shoot now. Residents, including Patrick Hale, were on the lookout. 646, I loaded every weapon I could in my house to be prepared in the event that they need to be used. The men soon coming face to face with hell as he started to drive his family to safety after receiving a warning that the escaped convicts were in the area. He says the cons on the run for 48 hours simply gave up. For some reason they started to surrender and lay down on their stomachs in my concrete driveway. We've had an armed home invasion. Before their capture, the inmates accused of holding an elderly couple hostage. He lost their weezy life. That's my wife. <laughs> he was just so close. Just get the police out of here as quick as you can. Investigators say it all started when one of the inmates shot and killed two prison guards on a transport bus Tuesday and escaped. It all ended with this heroic father. And this is the reason why <laughs> I was really excited that the police came as quick as they did. The prisoners are on their way back to Georgia. That brave husband and father thinks they surrender so easily because, get this, guys, they thought his car looked like a police vehicle. Incredible. Oh. Yeah. That's why they lay down in his drive. That must have felt like forever, by the way. Yeah. And right. And he said he just prayed. The there. He had his guns and he prayed. Well, sometimes the higher calling, higher power works. Kenneth, thank you thank very you. much. Thanks.